you had mentioned earlier on when you're starting your business, it was a bit difficult to navigate because of you know the inability to market yourself and nobody is going ra going outside. So uh, what has changed in your marketing strategy and what is working for you right now and what more would you like to implement? Um, have you tried influencer marketing and such things? Yeah, um, so yeah, it was, it was challenging while mm -hmm. we were starting. But now things have changed so much and it's actually changing for the better. Mm. And right now I would say um, almost fully depending on social media. The internet is so vast mm. with information. It's so broad, you cannot exhaust it. Mm -hmm. And that is working for us because every other day you're up to date with the current trends, like what are the other industries doing, mm -hmm. what are other designers doing. Mm -hmm. So for us, I would say like social media has been a very um, essential tool mm -hmm. in allowing us to be able to market our services and products and be able to reach a, a broader market as opposed to like before when we were just starting out. Mm. Yeah. So just recently we had the National T Tree Planting Day just in a bid to make our environment better um, and just create a better space for everyone you know, on the planet. Yeah. So as a business that deals with a lot of paper and a lot of paper products, there is um, a certain impact to the environment. So what practices as a business are you doing to make sure that it remains sustainable, not just for you, but for everyone else? Okay, yeah. So we are aware as a business of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. Mm. And we try to use materials that help in achieving that goal. Uh, like for instance, sustainability. Mm -hmm. And this is in terms of like using cost efficient uh, uh, materials, mm. um, less consumption energy, like light fixtures, LED fixtures, mm -hmm. all these are enabling us to be able to um, impact in the sustainability awareness that's going around. Mm -hmm. So even sometimes when we are making, say, one of the main um, materials that we use is wood. We have a lot of wood, wood, especially in furniture, in flooring, and other like pieces that are used around a space. Yeah. Mm. So instead of like putting away that extra wood or that waste wood, mm -hmm. we turn it into something that can be reused, something mm. that we can recycle. Um, for instance, like what you can see here, mm -hmm. we have like. Um, jars like reusable jars yeah. that you can use in your house mm -hmm. you can use it for tea mm -hmm. you can use it for sugar or salt or even jewelry mm -hmm. yeah like we'd like to give back to the to the environment mm -hmm. and we use uh, we make sure that we are very respectable of the environment around us mm -hmm. and we that and that way we are we are we are fully aware like that awareness is very important to us. Mm. So reuse and recycle is what we we go for. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you started it as an interior design, you know, helping people out. It was an entrepreneurial journey. But now how did you now start selling products of your own? Okay. Um it it came about because of like there was a need, like there was um a demand for such products like products that you can use around the house mm -hmm. so other than just um coming uh, going to a client's house or like going to a site visit and just um designing for a client or mm -hmm. just doing the basics around design we also incorporated other items like furniture like soft furnishings curtains cushions mm -hmm. um just things that can be act like tangible things that can be used around the house. Mm -hmm. So there was that demand and we felt it was um, it was an opportunity for us to jump at it and mm -hmm. like 
yeah like grow our business more okay yeah uh from the beginning of the show it has been i it has been esther <laughs> esther me myself and i so now over the you know over the years as you are expanding as you are incorporating uh new products and new things into the business uh have you expanded manpower or is it just a one-woman show <laughs> 